Hey everyone and welcome to Comic Breakdown. If you haven't, please like and subscribe to my page. And today, we're going to be getting into The Flash, issue number 752. If you're not caught up yet, I'll leave a link for you guys to check out the playlist, starting with issue number 88, the prelude to The Flash Age. So without further ado, let's dive in. So the last issue left us with Barry being what appeared to be heaven, and Godspeed being taken to the Cosmic Trip by Paradox. And we saw Barry interacting with his mom as soon as he arrived in what seemed to be heaven. So as we get into part three, we see Barry having a conversation with his mother. And while she doesn't explicitly say that it's heaven, she implies that it could be. And before they get too deep into conversation, she wants to show him something. And they crest over the hill and they see Flash City. And she tells them that the Flash City was created because the Flash Museum just wasn't tribute enough to the Flash legacy and everything the Flashes have done for the multiverse. So they race down into the city and Barry is met with tons of people who are absolutely thrilled to, to see him. And among those people you have the Wally Wests and things of that nature who are also there to greet him. And Barry, he thinks this is awesome, this is amazing, but it's not real. And Barry's mother, she's confused and she says, what? And Barry goes in to explain how the, he knows this whole world is a construct of some kind, not sure if it's in his head or it's a very complicated illusion, but he says every world in the multiverse has their own vibrational frequency except this one. It doesn't have a frequency. And then Barry's mom attempts to try to convince Barry that it's real, to just accept it and love all of this. And as she starts to see the, the conversation is not going in her way, Pretty much everybody in Flash City turns on the Flash and they all just start attacking him. And his mother starts to yell at him, you should have just been happy with, for, with what Paradox gave you. Be happy that he gave you this heaven. Why are you denying your chance at heaven? And he's just like, I, I, this is how I know you're not my mother because my mother would never tell me to stop. Especially while Paradox is still out there. It's my job. It's my responsibility to take care of this. And so after Barry's done with it all, he decides this illusion doesn't have a vibration. I'm going to give it one. And Barry starts to vibrate at a frequency so high that it cracks the, the illusion. And we see Barry breaking free of metal and steel shackles. Unsure of how long he's been in there. And he arrives in Paradox's little pocket dimension outside of space and time. And in comparison, if the Speed Force were to be a heaven, this this would be the hell. And as Barry starts to explore this place, he sees the remnants of leftover survivors that have passed away, the machine that Paradox built to be able to see the entire timeline, and then his body starts to essentially decay, like what happened to the people that were there with Paradox prior. And his body just starts to wither, and so he gets the idea that he needs to be able to build armor like Paradox had. That's probably how he was able to withstand the harsh environment that's here. So Barry zooms around collecting all these parts that he can find. And we get an, a pretty much a, a Justice League movie, up-armored, Iron Man-style flash suit. And it is freaking awesome. And so we see Barry working on something. He, he's, he's gathering pieces up and thinking to himself just how he's going to be able to, to beat Paradox. And pretty much... Like Barry super builds a, a supercomputer. <laughs> and he talks about how Iris told him that Earbud Thawne or the Reverse Flash was the only one to actually be able to beat Paradox. And he's trying to figure out how he's going to be able to ask Thawne. Finding him in the right time period to where he'd be able to get this information from him. But also at the same time not create another Paradox. And then we pan over and we see a cosmic treadmill. Barry, yet again, in a matter of minutes, built a cosmic treadmill on a supercomputer. And while he has concerns that time travel was impossible, because that's what Commander Cold had told him before, things have changed and the force barrier was repaired, and he had also been supercharged. So we see him hop on the treadmill, and we see him go to the one moment 
that Barry always knows Eobron Thawne is at. And that moment is the night Eobron Thawne murdered Barry Allen's mother. And that will be the end of this issue. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. Let me know where you guys think this is going to be going here in the near future. I really want to know what some of you guys' theories are on, on what this could be leading up to. If you like the content I'm putting out, make sure you put a, a like and a sub for me. And until the next video.